this score is not setting up anything good for the soldiers right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You wanna know what I got in my hand? What do you got? Oh, let me see if I can. That's um, it's a, it's a heart with a sword. It's a, no, it's a, it's a, it's a brave heart. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube <laughs> channel. I'm just gonna try to recover from that one. My name is Cam. This is Zay. I did not know that was about to happen. And today we are getting into the movie Braveheart. This will be yes. our reaction to it. This is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen before. Um, this is a long one. Super excited to get into it. Um, I know this is a Mel Gibson movie, or at least he stars in it. It's rated R. It, well, it came out in 1995, and it's about uh, William Wallace in the 13th century Scottish era. So other than that, um, I've heard there are like battles in it, and you know, I know it's like a war uh, drama or something like that. But yeah, other than that, I don't know too much about it. Is there anything you know about the movie before we get into it? No, I mean, I've seen like still shots and I've seen like pictures of Braveheart um, oh, yeah, sure. before. So I, I recognize like the face with the paint, with the blue paint and everything. Right. But outside of that, I don't really know anything about it. Um, definitely been on my list of things to ha to watch. So I'm excited we're getting into it. All right. Well, with that being said, if you like what you're watching, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. That's why you better subscribe. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies, as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you can check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. And click the freaking link. Uh, sorry, I was busy practicing my wildlife photography skills I learned online through Skillshare. What? What is that? Oh, Skillshare? It's this wonderful online learning community where you can <clears throat> learn from creatives who are skilled in their field. I'm talking about the bird on your chair. What do you mean? Yeah. Skillshare offers a variety of different options, so find what you like. And if you're interested, help support the channel and get 30% off your first year by using our promo code Cam and Zay. Let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into Braveheart. No, Brave Missed, Missed Entertainment. Oh, Braveheart. Ooh, we're gonna get like the best cinematography. I'm already feeling it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of given like um like Lord of the Ring vibes, like cinematography. Yeah. Style. Oh my jeez, look at that. Yeah. Oh my That's gosh, beautiful. get me up there in a helicopter right now. Please. The bagpipe the Scottish ship, Scotland. Scotland. Edward the Long Shanks claimed the throne of Scotland for himself. Scotland's nobles fought him and fought each other over the crown. Uh oh. Mm. He had two sons, John and William. There he is. Mm -hmm. I told you to stay. It's not a very good hider. I want to go. Go home, William, or you'll feel the back of my heart. <laughs> you could really break into anywhere. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Dang. How many people? Oh, that's so traumatizing. Jesus. All right. It's all right. Easy, lad. Jeez. I was 17, 18 when I was. Oh, he's having oh. a nightmare. I was going to say, I was 17 or 18 when I first saw the body, the dead body of someone like my age. That was crazy. I couldn't imagine. Oh, being like yeah, yeah. I know seven, what you're talking about. Yeah. I couldn't imagine being like seven or whatever and seeing someone yeah. your age dead. Jeez. Oh. I can fight. I know you can fight. But it's our wits that make us men. Mm. Damn. I have a feeling this is not going to go well, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, this just doesn't... The vibe is not giving me anything positive. With your father and brother gone, they'll kill us and burn the farm. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Okay. I was going to be like... Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn. 
I'm sorry, was that? Are we not on the same team? What just happened? Uh, that doesn't look like dad or brother. Come here, lad. <sighs> Dang. Oh. Are they dead? That one looked like they hey. were breathing, but... No, they're dead. Yeah, it looks like they're just cleaning them up. Are you fucking joking me? What are we fucking six minutes into the movie? Damn. Yeah, I know, bro. Like, seriously. We've seen people hung. We've seen this kid now get traumatized again. Yeah. What does he do then? Bro, back in the day, you were just on your own now. You just, you survived. That was it. Aww. That's cute. Just a small, simple gesture can mean a lot mm -hmm. in this type of time. This kid's Damn. a great actor, I know. Man. I'm like, Wow. Shit. That is great acting. Dude, I don't understand. Does that horse... Is that part of the... What? No, that can't be. No, that <laughs> horse does not have chest. A chest bro would be insane. I'm your uncle. Horse. Uh, what? It's like fucking Odin. He just, yeah, it came out of nowhere, too. White horse, chest hair, missing an eye. What the hell's going on here? You have to look at your mother. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, we didn't even see the mom. I'm assuming the mom must have passed. Yeah. Par for the course, I guess, for William's life so far. We'll stay here tonight. Tomorrow, you'll come home with me. Okay. I don't want to leave. You didn't want your father to die either, did you? Jeez. I mean, relax, Unc. Jeez. Your heart is free. Have the courage to follow it. They said, they're setting William up for the comeback story of the century. Yeah, I can feel it. Bagpipes are one of those, like, if you're really good, it sounds amazing, but, like, if I picked it up, I would ruin oh. the eardrums of everybody. It was the same for me and your daddy when our father was killed. Oh. Plus, remember, he wanted to go fight, and they were like, yeah. no. So now he's like... Thus, and I'll teach you to use this. There you go. Fair trade. Longshanks had chosen the daughter of his rival, the King of France. Interesting. That's so crazy. People just picked. Like, you're marrying this one. You're like, <laughs> especially if you were a girl. Right. It, you would not have a choice. You, you were told. Oh, boy. Who is this weirdo? Fucking Loki has something planned over here. That may have been what he You had kissed her on the cheek, bro? At least go all the way in and kiss her. She's cute. Kiss her on the lips. The trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. The time has come to reinstitute an old custom. Ah. Uh, uh, Prima nocte. Oh, gosh. No. Common girl inhabiting their land. Our nobles shall have sexual rights to her. Yep. That's Prima Nocta. Remember, I told you about that in Robin Hood Men in Tights, I think it was. I told you what it was. Oh, I forgot about that. That's, that's insane. <laughs> the most excellent idea, sire. Is it? Oh, gosh. Run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. The way he said, is it? He's, that, <laughs> that dude is already unbuckling his pants. He's like, excellent, <laughs> excellent, sire. I agree wholeheartedly. Longshanks is granted Prima Nocta. Clearly meant to draw more of his supporters here. Lull Longshanks into our confidence by neither supporting his decree nor opposing it. A wise plan. How do you do both? Yeah, right. He says that I speak for all of the Bruces and for Scotland. Mm, spy, perhaps? Oh, wow. Returning back to his home.
humble beginnings. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was not yeah, ready for fun. that. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? That looks like a blast. I would bust down and back in the day. I would be going to all sorts of festivals. <laughs> are you kidding me? Does his... <laughs> is this horse emo? Oh, she's blushing. She's like, oh, that's with me, yo. Oh, uh -oh. he was risen and now this man's here. What is that? The fuck? What do I... <laughs> is this a challenge? You've dropped your rock. Test of manhood. Oh, okay. Well, a test of a soldier is not in his arm. That's here. Yeah, that's what it was talking about. <laughs> Just from the... <laughs> now you gotta now you gotta fight. <laughs> okay, so, so it's a game where you lock. throw it's like a shot put. It's like old school shot put. This dude's gonna throw it like <laughs> out of the course. Damn. He's got so much. He's got a weight advantage, size advantage. What? This is fair. Could you crush a man with that throw? I could crush you like a worm. Damn! Got him. Would you like to see him crush me like a worm? Okay. Oh. Oh, is he gonna bring it old school? I think William is gonna be one of those like. Sm mm -hmm. fight smarter not harder which is obvious but from what he's been taught but i think he's gonna have that like smart attitude about everything <laughs> just slightly moves ah! yeah big ones are easier to dodge you're all right you look a wee bit shaky damn look at his head yeah he... <laughs> <laughs> he did all that with a rock he should He's lucky the MLB would have been calling him like, yo. <laughs> uh, welcome home. They're all their friends. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. If, I didn't, couldn't tell if it was like friends or going to turn to like some sort of beef. Or... He winked at him towards the beginning. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'd seen like the wink. I just was like. William, will you dance with me? Will you hush? You I'm bitch. talking to the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Shut up. He <laughs> just palms her face. Just like. <laughs> I guess he's be a better person than, I, than we are. Yeah. Gosh, you just get that feeling of like, <clears throat> ugh, bummers. You yeah, know. like literally. Claim the right of Prima Nocta. Oh, God. Could you imagine? And you just have to take it on the chin, bro? I would. Oh, she said I'll be okay, I think. I literally would not get married. I yeah. wouldn't be able to handle it. I just would be like, no. At the end of the day, dude, that's enough for me. Let's go to war. Period. Kill them all. <laughs> We're... The line has been drawn. Yeah. Oh. Look at that pompous, ugly hoe. Jeez. Oh, I want to... I want to... Literally killed the whole vibe. No fun after that. Literally, what are you going to do? Oh, let's go back to dancing and singing. You're out of your mind. Oh, it's good Scottish weather, madam. We'll see you later. Oh, the weather's just fine. It's hot and raining. Did you know here what just... That's crazy. Damn. She's off. That looks fun as hell. Let's just go into a field and just ride a horse. But we each get our own horse. No, I want to be behind you. Have <laughs> you been to run? What was it like? Rien qui approche. Double day. Oh, yeah, they're definitely gonna. Oh, he's smooth, too. Oh, no. He can't marry. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't marry her. Because I'm loving this romance, but if he. Oh, my gosh. A letter? Is this. Your dirty handkerchief? What is this? <laughs> there better be something good in there if you're not gonna smooch her. There better be something real good in there. A crushed flower. No, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get Yeah, but that is funny as hell. 
Was this the girl that gave her the? That's what I'm thinking. I think. I think that's why. I think that's why. Are you? No, 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 no. Have you not? Did you not pay attention? Just say I want to be with you. No marriage, though. Is that a yes? I answer yes. No. Oh my good goodness gracious me. William Devi learned zero zilch nada zero nothing. I will love you my whole life. Oh, are they doing a secret marriage? That's smart. That that's genius. That's the best route to take. But never Damn say it. that you're married. Now I think she's gonna get killed. Then, you know, <laughs> it's there, we can't win. There's nothing good, good that's gonna, gonna come out of this. They're getting engaged and married way too early into the fucking movie. Yeah. You know, she is your wife. That's what this is romantic because it's back then. But nowadays, if you were doing this, your girlfriend would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Get over here. Like, Just come walk with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Bro, oh, relax. You have the soldiers all around. Do this conversation not in public. Put some mud on her face. You gotta make her look ugly right now. Well, that looks heavy. Let me help you with it. You remind me of my daughter back home. Okay, so then be nice. Okay, that's the most. In that's either the most ancestral thing you've ever said, or you're just creep. You're just what the? Oh fuck! She's about to get gang banged. No. Oh. Oh gosh, you disgust me. <laughs> oh, what the fuck are uh. you? Yeah. Nice, good fight. Yes! Yes! Nice, let's go, William. Oh yeah. Go, 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 get out of there, 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 get out of there. Come on, yeah, out, 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 out. Scat, 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 go, go. Horse, horses, horse. Come back here, you bastard! Shut the fuck up. Go, 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 go! Be me at the grove, right? It can fit two of you. What are you doing? Literally fit two of you. Shit! Damn! She didn't get very far. Holy cow. That was genius, though. The outfit oh. change was genius. Oh, yeah. he thinks that she's going to be at the Grove. She's not even going to be there. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, please don't let us be right about her dying already. Please. An assault on the king's yeah. soldiers is the same as an assault on the king himself. Oh, fuck. Yeah, she's dead. She's oh. dead. <clears throat> now, let this scrapper come to me. Buddy, you just killed you don't John want that. That's what Yeah, that's happened. crazy. You're fucked. Yeah, yeah. This score is not setting up anything good for the soldiers right now. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, I'm terrified for the soldiers right now. Oh, oh, oh. shit. Damn! Oh. Oh. Oh, dude, that's Thor's hammer. Come here. Yulnir! That just dislocated his C4. <laughs> he has scoliosis now, guaranteed. Hey! Oh. Come on, guys. Damn! Jeez. No way. Oh. 
So William Wallace kind of took on this role as like kind of a revolutionary leader in in just a strike of vengeance. They all just decided to join him. I, I guess so. He just was like, I've had enough. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, don't run. Don't run. There's no escape for you, brother. Yeah, you're fucked. Always put him up on the post. Oh, damn! Yeah, what did you expect, bro? Deserved. Deserved. Oh. Um, what does that mean? Oh, Wallace. Chanting Wallace. Animae omnium fidelium defensorum. This poor guy had to bury three people. Probably four. He probably had to bury his mother too, possibly. That's brutal. that type of. Yeah, he's trying not to like. Must be the hardest time to to do something like that. Oh, because you want to. You're like, if she wasn't hanging around you, if she wasn't dealing, like, you know. You can do it. I'll hold them down. What? You can do it. I'll hold them down. <laughs> hold them. Hold them. Hold them. No, let him go. That's gonna hurt for a while. So Damn. Oh, is this is that guy that? Yeah, this is the guy yeah. from the first. Yeah, from the first the festival. So I want news. Oh! <laughs> what? I have dispatched a hundred soldiers to Lanark. They will be returning now. Actually, it was more like fifty. <laughs> Make it quick. Yo. Damn. You remember me? <laughs> yes, get your vengeance, brother. Oh, I'm here to claim the right of a husband. <laughs> Shit. Amen. Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. Oh, the line is drawn. Tell mm -hmm. them Scotland is free. Yes. Burn it. Damn. <laughs> um. All right, so we're gonna see both sides of him. We're seeing he can fight, but we're also gonna see that that smart side of him too. Ooh. Wallace has already killed the magistrate. Yeah. Stand up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stand up. Get down. <laughs> Just keeps... And I leave you here to quell this little rebellion. Understood? Is it? <laughs> you will be a king. At least try to act like one. Well, your fucking stupid ass is leaving him in charge of the Scotland Rebellion. Not a I good idea. They're gonna not fucking really... <laughs> destroy this little thing. No king of mine would ever make the <laughs> sound when <laughs> getting yelled at. <laughs> you will embrace this rebellion. I will gain English favor by condemning it. Playing both sides. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So a third party getting involved that's trying to play both sides. I wonder who he is, though. That can't be William Wallace. I'm prettier than this man. Oh, it's one of these dudes. I hate people like this. If I risk my neck for you, will I get a chance to kill Englishmen? Yes. Yes, Father. The Almighty says, don't change the subject. Just answer the fuck. Get him out. Get him out. You don't want him. He's unhinged. Actually, you do want him. He's insane. You want unhinged. <laughs> You want unhinged. You fight for me, you get to kill the English. Excellent. I'm the most wanted man on my island. Oh, so he's crazy. You mean Ireland? Yeah, it's mine. Oh, shit. You're a madman. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill so many Englishmen yeah. <laughs> when he gets out there. 
I get that you need food, but damn, I'm getting the vibe that you're taking some of this hatred on the English out on this deer right now. <laughs> That's all I mean. Deer is literally minding its business. <laughs> you're like, let me get as close as I can for this headshot. Oh, no, don't show it looking. Oh, what? What? What is happening? Oh, he just saved his life. Sure, didn't the Almighty send me to watch your back? He thought he was about to kill him. Well, what news? What outnumbered? At least three to one. Who was in command? Did he have uh, a Scarlet Chevron? Aye. Three to one aren't good odds, but it could be worse. No, that's a fact. What do you oh, do they're heavy. Say, if you're the head of this army, do you stand down or do you fight? Three to one odds against. I fight. We gotta fight. Do not flee. Wait until we've negotiated. Gosh, that's embarrassing. That's what I've seen. I've seen this shot before. <laughs> Your men are fleeing. I'm so sorry. Just give me two seconds to talk to them. Just, I'm <laughs> real quick. I see a whole army of my countrymen. Here in defiance of tyranny. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Damn. Yeah, that that right there gave me chills. That and you give them a reason, like you really give them a reason to fight. They'll fight better, bro. Like it's yeah. crazy. Here are the king's terms. Leave this. He rode right around him. Here are Scotland's terms. Back straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft. <laughs> Do it not, and every one of you will die today. Oh my gosh. I wish he had a mic for the army to hear. His army. Yeah. Both armies. <laughs> Before we let you leave, your commando put his head between his legs and kiss his own arse. <laughs> <laughs> On my signal, ride round behind our position and flank them. They'll think we're away. Take out their archers. I'll meet you in the middle. They're about to fuck them up big time. If you're going to flank them. Smart. Now it's time. Right. Our cavalry will ride them down like grass. <clears throat> Send the horse. Oh my gosh, this dude's smug attitude. Wow. Yeah, bro. And they're just standing their ground. Mm-hmm. For how long, William? No! Oh! oh! Fuck! That's the thinking smarter, bro. Yeah. Because they didn't see just that create coming. a barricade. Poor horses, but damn, it's genius. Oh! Oh! I'd be like, I don't want to run into that. What else do they have planned? Let's go. This has got to be insane. Adrenaline has to be nuts at this point. I feel like screaming is the only emotion you could be emitting in a moment like this. Oh, wow. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Whew. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. They didn't, they didn't even have to lose any power to be able to do this. That's crazy. I do kind of feel bad for the 
the soldiers though. It's like, what are they told? I do feel bad, but hey, war is war. That's a brutal kill. Oh. No. Oh. Whoa, crazy. It looks deranged, yo. You know, a lot of these weapons are not like sharpened and refined. They they're not cutting as clean as yeah. like some refined weapons. So you're probably like half in your neck, like ah! <laughs> like that's crazy. Damn, bot smarter and one, bro. Can you that like? Could you imagine the message that sends? Oh yeah, our odds were fucking three to one against us, and we just destroyed you. It's like, yeah, we lost a lot of men, but I mean, showed you like odds stacked against you. And their sacrifice wasn't in vain because we won that battle. Yeah. He's becoming a legend whether he likes it or not. Oh, yeah. Did he become like king or something? Or is he being knighted? I knight thee, yeah, he's Sir William Wars. Oh. Yes, he deserves it too. Stand and be recognized. Hell yeah! yeah! Ho, 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 ho. Our legitimate succession. I You're know. the ones who won't support the rightful king. Those were lies when you first spoke them. Oh, no, that's true. Ah, uh, see, this is what happens. This gets crazy. We have beaten the English, but they'll come back. Because you won't stand together. Oh. I will invade England and defeat the English on their own ground. Wait, what? Hold on. I think your position exists to provide those people with freedom. Oh, mm. fuck! Uh-huh. These men have lands and castles. It's much to risk. And the common man that bleeds on the battlefield, does he risk less? Huh. Fuck! Mm. That's back to back. He's yeah. smoking, y'all. <laughs> no, coward. I want what you want, but we need the nobles. We need them. Men don't follow titles. They follow courage. Yes. Lead them to freedom. They'd follow you. Okay, just make him king. At make this him point. king of every. Make him the ruler <laughs> of everything, <laughs> the world. I thought of my cousin, the prince, tells me he has no troops to lend. He advances to which town? To here, my lord. <laughs> Get you out if you leave now. I'm not about to tell my uncle I've lost him the greatest city in northern England. Okay, respect. Well, I mean, you still are about to tell your uncle that you lost the greatest <laughs> city in northern England. You're not going to be a coward while you did it. Right. So that's cool. Look at their battery ram. It's just law, like Lincoln logs tied together. It's so crazy. Oh no, hot oil. That is boiling oil. That's something I don't know. That's... Oh, that's genius. They're smarter than I thought. That's genius. To... Yeah, that's. I've heard about oh, hot oil, God. but I couldn't but imagine I never heard about... dying that way. I've heard about hot oil, but I never heard about them like launching a flaming arrow into it, which would make sense if they did, though. Yeah. Just make it hotter. I'd be like, oh, my shift has ended. Make way for this king! Oh, shit, buddy. You didn't fix this rebellion. Our entire northern army is annihilated. <laughs> Jump out the window. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just literally jump. just jump out the window. <laughs> There's a very urgent message from York. Oh, no. <laughs> Wallace has sacked York. Huh? Wallace has sacked York. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back from. Get away, get away from arm's reach. Oh. Is that the head of the... Yep. Yep. Damn. Beast could do such a thing. 
Who is this person who speaks to me as though I needed his advice? Okay, you, window, as well. <laughs> I am skilled in the arts of war and military tactics, sir. Oh my god, just stop. Oh Bro, god. he's gonna throw you out the window. He's gonna throw him out the window. Present, uh... Situation. <laughs> That's what we said! Oh my gosh! Oh, don't get away from that. He's about to tuck you next. He's like, he said, I can make another one. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you try to stab a man and he backhands you? You gotta... You gotta go. I shall offer a truce. That's smart. My gentle son. The mere sight of him would only encourage an enemy to take over the house. <laughs> Dude, that's one of the hardest roasts I've ever heard. That's crazy. Sight of him. Sight of him. To take over the whole country. I'm dreaming. Yes, you are. And you must wake. I don't want to wake. No. But you must wait now. Wake up, William. Wake up. Be like, it's not over. Mm -hmm. If I were her, that's what I would be like. I'd be like, it's not over. Give him a little mm -hmm. bit more. That's kind of what she's saying anyway, so. Yes, homo indomitus est. Et semper dicens mendacio. Ego nuncum pronunciare mendacio. Oh! You tried. Shit. You tried. You thought you were slim. Homo indomitus. Damn. Oh, Francais, si vous préférez. Oh? Oh, she's in love. <laughs> Leave us. No. It was him speaking Latin and French that did it for her. She's like... <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Come here for a second. Let me talk to you. The king desires peace. He proposes that you withdraw your attack. In return, he grants you title, estates. He doesn't want. Peace is made in such ways. Slaves are made in such ways. Wow. Yikes. I, res I respect it. Lured by him under a flag of truce to a barn. Where he had them hanged. Oh, so that's what that was. I understand you have suffered. You don't. I know about your woman. Mm, that's touchy. I would not have said that. That's bold. She was my wife. They killed her to get to me. <sighs> yeah, you're getting the real truth about everything right now there, girl. I see her strength in you. Oh, that's gonna, that's mm. gonna get her all kinds of turned on. <laughs> oh. The whole time she's just like, wow, this is a really nice guy. And we're like, oh, yeah, she's horny. <laughs> <laughs> so you accepted our bribe? No, you did not. Now back up. Back up. Back up. There's no windows, right? There's no <laughs> windows, right? He says he will attack no more towns or cities. If you are a man enough to come and face him. Yikes. Troops from France, Irish conscripts. Even if you dispatch them today, they take weeks to assemble. I dispatch them before I set your way. Yeah, see? This is what he, she, he's proved a point. He's like, I'm telling you, he's shicey. Tell me, what kind of man is he? Not the one you want to mess with. A mindless yeah. barbarian. Not a king like you, my lord. That was, but the smartest thing to say was right there. He got word. Oh no. Oh, those two. I think those two had a little spark. Did the princess. I bet you she him? let him know. Yeah. yeah, she had to have. It's true. The English ships are moving up from the south. Yep. yep. The Irish have landed. I had to see it with my own eyes before I could believe it. Didn't I tell you before? It's my island. Hamish? No fucking way. If those Irish, like, betray the English... That would be something... crazy. We require every soldier you can summon. Such a force arrayed against us. It's time to discuss other options. Well, other options? You motherfucker. <laughs> it's too late for other options. They're coming from blood. 
cannot <laughs> defeat this army. We can't! So, William. And we will! We won at Sterling! And still, you quibble. Yeah, you should be ashamed. Mm hmm. If you'll not stand up with us now, then I say you're a coward. <laughs> yeah, try it, brother. Try it. You guys are cowards. <clears throat> if we win, well, then we'll have what none of us have ever had before a country of our own. Freedom. Like, yeah, they. You think he's just going to let this slide if you guys just decide to retreat? Like, you're going to get punished. now when all of the momentum is building? Like, don't let that yeah. fade. I cannot be king. You and you alone can rule Scotland. Not for me, not for yourself, for your country. Honestly, him joining um, Wallace's side may be enough to make him king. Wallace might be like, I don't need to be king. I just wanted freedom for our country. And then Literally. he'll be like, you chose to support us. We'll make right. Oh, they're laying oil in the fields. So, like, you want to douse us with oil? Okay. Yeah, I bet. Find Fair out. Game. The lovely gathering. Look at you with your stupid crown on your head. I hope it gets knocked off. Gathering! Oh, They're being a little more cautious. They have the spears out. They're not going full yeah. speed and charging them like they did before. This is way more threatening. Yeah. Oh, they're charging a little bit, but not not like how they did before. Before they were just like yeah. full speed ahead. We're, we're running them right over. All right, oh, come here on. we go. Yeah, this is it. Well, this is a big one. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are those the Irish? It is. I, I, I would have shit myself if I was the king. I'd have been like, <laughs> "Yo, that's hilarious!" Oh, are they? Are, is, is the king's army on the oil field? Oh, damn, bro! They took your front line and said, "Burn." Big collision. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I would just keep swinging that shit. With that thing. Yeah. I would get two of them. I would just get two of them. Just like. Sending a signal. Are they betraying them or something? Or are they? You bastards. Oh, you fucking bastards. You are cowards. You're. That's crazy. You better hope William doesn't survive this because y'all both dead, Mornay and Lachlan. Why would you not exhaust your troops until they're all dead and then fire the arrow? Like you're just waste put, wasting potential allies. That's that's just a person that doesn't give a damn about you know. That's crazy. No. Oh, they had guys posted up outside too. Oh my gosh. Bring me Wallace. Alive if possible. Send us news of our victory. Retire? Please, Bruce, come on. Bruce, bro, begging, pleading at this point. I can't even put into words how fucking cowardice that was. Oh, bro. Ah. Fucking Wallace over here is like, I guess I'm just gonna have to make up for the men that walked away. Now yeah. he has strength of a thousand. <laughs> like. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. That's a, yeah, it's like, all, it's all that guy had to do was just. Ooh. Okay. Faked it. Uh-oh.
Wait. Is that... That's Robert Bruce. Yeah, that's the Bruce. Damn. Now he's really like, there's no hope. Like, we have nothing. We have no men. He's helping now? Wow. Well, he had one last moment to do something right, and he did. But what a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> what a demoralizing, just like, series of events, man. Gotta re put yourself. Mm hmm. I'm the one who's rotting. But I think your face looks graver than mine. <laughs> in time, you will have all the power in Scotland. Maybe you should go meet Wallace and, and before yeah. you start talking this. Is... I have nothing. You know, yeah. You... They fought for William Wallace and he fights for something that I've never had. Mm hmm. And I took it from him when I betrayed him and I saw it in his face on the battlefield. Yeah. Well, all men betray. All lose heart. I don't want to lose heart! <sighs> I want to believe as he does. Yeah. Having mm -hmm. something to fight for and believing in what you're fighting for. I will never be on the wrong side again. Powerful, yeah. Damn. Mm hmm. <laughs> the face of. Death incarnate. Yeah, this is, that's the Grim Reaper. <gasps> Sounds like him too. <laughs> you should be afraid. I hope you're pissing yourself because you betrayed him, and he's still alive. Yeah, you better hope that he <gasps> died. Like, I mean, obviously. Really oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What a badass horse, too. All right. Y'all. Yes. That horse is like, what did I just do? Bro, that horse is fucking chitty chitty bang bang. Oh, uh, that horse is oh, diving. Oh, no, it's upside down. Oh, no, I hope that horse is okay. Oh, no, that horse is not the cooker. That was shallow water. Bro dripped it on his bread, too. That's cr Well. What you get? You made the wrong decision. You thought nothing was going to happen. Yeah. Pick a flock of your finest assassins and set a meeting. They're going for the head of the snake. Mm-hmm. He warmed to our future queen and would trust her. Oh. So we'll dispatch her with the notion that she comes in peace. Yep. Do that. If she were to be killed, we would soon find the King of France a useful ally against the Scot. Oh, and her, her like assistant is like listening in. Yeah, she gonna be like, guess what they're trying to do? Why do you help me? She wants that Wallace. Because of the way you are looking at me mm. now. Yep. Mm-hmm. He has that riz, as the kids say. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Killed oh, it. We come to seek a meeting. You've all sworn loyalty to Longshanks. Mm -hmm. Every man of us is ready to swear loyalty to you. Swear publicly. Mm -hmm. Meet us two days from now. Pledge us your pardon and we'll unite behind you. You mean us and you? No. How do you trust them again? I mean, this. I, I thought he was about to deck him in the face. Dude, I hope this works out. <laughs> I trust Robert the Bruce now because of what we've seen with him, but... Yeah, but that's it. That's the only one I trust. The I would have been like, we're not meeting in your land. Like, we got to meet middle ground. 
He just but... bunny hopped down the table. That's crazy. He's like, oopsies. <laughs> Scoop me. No! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> You have Unbelievable. got to be fucking joking me. We knew it, though. We knew it. Bastard! Why? Why? Long shanks acquired Wallace. So oh, you noble. piece of shit. Shut up. I don't want anything from you. You're not a man. Oh. Whew. You let yourself be deceived. But in your heart, you always knew what had to happen here. It's crazy because he's a bitch, but on the other end, like, mm. I get it. Like, he wants to look out for his son. You know what it means to hate. And he hasn't experienced the things the son is experiencing. It's rough, but he's on the wrong side. My hate will die with you. Yikes. Dude, honestly, just take him out, bro. I will see the prisoner. We've got orders from the king that nobody... The king will be dead in a you month can... and his son is a weakling. Who do you think will rule this kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, talk your talk. Confess all and swear allegiance to the king that he might show me your mercy. Shoddy. If I swear to him, then all that I am is dead already. Yeah. True. He's gonna fuck you up no matter what. Mm -hmm. Drink this. It will dull your pain. Okay. I can't bear the thought of your torture. Right. Probably gonna spit it out. Oh, well, that's gonna be hard to spit it out. It's gonna be hard to explain if a guard's like, Yeah, I just saw your wife tongue fucking Wallace down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. I have come to beg for the life of William Wallace. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Show mercy, oh, the great king, and win the respect of your own people. Uh, Homie's boy. almost dead. Even now, you are incapable of mercy. He told me his one comfort was that he would live to know Wallace was dead. Yeah, you ain't gonna convince him now. Jeez. Yeah. She should just kill both of them. I mean, the son's an easy kill as is. And the dad's no better. Death comes to us all. Oh, is she gonna do it? But before it comes to you, your blood dies with you. A child who is not of your line grows in my blood. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! Damn, they got him pinned up. Y'all are so puss. I hope you're I hope none of your crops grow back and you all starve. Please don't die. Please something oh happened. they just have blades and oh declare yourself the king's loyal subject and beg his mercy he's not doing any of that yeah like literally <clears throat> do you know him by chance <laughs> stretch him oh come on so they're hanging him they're like Oh, they snuck in to see. Kiss the royal emblem of my cloak, and you will feel no more. It takes a lot of willpower to, to be like, no, in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, the rat. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. The rack's crazy. It's almost like quartering him, basically, without all the horses. Oh, 
Okay, they let him go. <sighs> I thought he was complaining to go tighter. I thought he was. Yeah, I thought they were about to really like start walking that horse. <laughs> it can all end <laughs> right now. What's he doing? Cry out. Mercy. <laughs> Are they carving his junk? I don't know. Just say it. Bro, they're all saying it before he is. And that's all he has to do is just say it. That's say crazy. mercy. I mean, I don't know if they're going to, they'll probably just end up just killing him, but like better than this. Could still, yeah, he could escape the pain by dying or whatever by just saying it. He's still not saying it. Jesus, mercy. I mean, even there, like, dude, just, we won't look at you any different, man. He said, fuck you. And everyone there knows exactly. They're like. <sighs> they know what he was fighting for this whole time. I got getting chills. What a fucking hero. Mm -hmm. It. Time for you to see your wife again. Mm hmm. She's proud of you, brother. Of everything you did. I'm sure, everyone is. Not some sex shit, though. William Wallace's body was torn to pieces. It did not have the effect that Longshanks planned. <laughs> yeah, I just got them angry. Yeah. And I. Robert. Yes. Okay. Okay. You have bled with Wallace. Now bleed with me. Oh, 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 chills. Oh, Pure chills. Yo, he's so pissed off. He's like, oh my god, again. He's like, please. <laughs> wow. Yes. You could not have had said anything better. What? Sir, I hope that lands in like. The most I hope that just decapitates person. like sixteen people. <laughs> <laughs> like just sidearm slings and kills like thirty. Wow. Oh, uh, dude, the chills are unbelievable, bro. They fought like warrior poets and won their freedom. Wow. Yes. Let's Incredible. go. Shout out to any Scottish viewers. Yeah. Wow. That was. Whew. <sighs> All right. That was our reaction to Braveheart. If you like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want your full length reaction to this and get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you can check that out on Patreon. The link to that is in the description. Wow. What a beautiful, fantastic story about the liberation of Scotland. Coming from someone who was personally very uneducated about the subject, I felt like I learned a lot, and I'm curious to see how much of this applies to reality and how much of it was more of a dramatized sense. Maybe you guys can leave a comment down below um, some of the distinctions and some of the accuracies. That would be greatly appreciated. But, man, what an amazing story from where we started, just this kid growing up, going through all these losses at the hands of those ruling over him um, and having to deal with the the pain and the suffering and just wanting some sense of freedom and wanting to fight even as a kid. But growing up, you know, having to lose his wife too and having to go through these struggles and then finally just having enough of it and going ahead and making a stand himself. That was his idea. Yeah. He wanted to make a stand himself. And the fact that, that was the time that everybody has had enough and joined him. There were some people thinking about a rebellion in the process, but 
he made it very loud and clear what his stance was, and so did the people that joined him. And I thought it was absolutely magnificent to see this journey, to see all the different pieces at play from the England, from the English to the Irish to the Scottish, just being able to see kind of where the allies stood and the controversy amongst people within Scotland themselves and not wanting to fight and trying to keep the nobility and things like that. But at the end of the day, um, them coming around to it, at least Robert Bruce himself leading the charge after Wallace died. It was absolutely amazing getting able to have a deep dive on Wallace's character. Mel Gibson had an amazing performance there. I thought it was great to see. But being able to see this emotional aspect to it all, I mean, it, it's so different than while I don't feel like I've been educated much on William Wallace, when mm -hmm. I'm educated on anything um, in in the school systems, while there are, are some, like, uh, emotional aspects to it, like this many people died, like, that's sad. They don't capture it as much as they do in the movie like this because you're kind of just learning the facts of the situation. Right. So being able to see more of the emotional side of it starts to really hit home in certain areas of, like, Man, and it starts to rile you up. Like, you know, it starts to be like, yeah, like, go Scotland. Like, let's go Wallace. Like, it makes you want to be, like, a part of it in a sense. And, right. And uh, you really start to to develop a sense of, like, right and wrong. And, I mean, that's how they're painting the story. But that definitely seemed to be the idea of it. I mean, he was fighting for freedom. And at the end of the day, if you're going to rule over a place, and you're going to treat them like that then you should expect some rebellion and 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 you should underestimate your opponent because as we saw he fought with his head and not his oh heart. yeah I mean, he fought with his heart but he thought was his head and yeah that was absolutely amazing to see in the the lessons that he was taught play out overall i thought it was an absolutely beautiful movie a beautiful story a lot of things did not go the way i expected so many twists and turns and you know at the end I, when he was getting beheaded i was just like you know, someone's gonna step in. Someone's gonna step in, and yeah. nobody stepped in to get that rude awakening. But still, somewhat of a happy ending uh, was absolutely beautiful. I enjoyed the experience all the way through, and really felt like the runtime contributed to the movie. I think maybe there were some aspects that were slowed down for drama's sake. Mm -hmm. Maybe could have been trimmed down a little bit. Um, but overall, I think it, it really deserved. The runtime that it had it really expressed the emotional weight of the story uh but to also express the intricacies of the story as well beautifully done zay what are your thoughts yeah um just to touch on the runtime i i think that they utilized the runtime extremely well we've had films where it feels like you know they didn't have enough runtime or maybe they had too much and it was like hey you don't need all this even though there probably could have been small areas that could have been trimmed, it never felt like there wasn't a major event occurring in the film when it was going, when, as it just progresses, everything that was going on, you know, was playing a major part in the story. It was like contributing to the overall story, building the character, building the world. Um, yeah. I wonder how historically accurate this film actually is. Um, you know, Wallace is, I mean, I wonder if, it's more the I feel like maybe not the character dramatized. Maybe it's more the events might be more dramatized. I feel like I don't know. I mean, some films kind of do both. They dramatize both. Some dramatize one over the other. But I don't know. To me, it feels like William Wallace was that dude. And, he, you know, <laughs> it was yeah. it, like that's just how I feel. I thought it was super dope. It's a crazy story. Um, the cinematography was fantastic. There was great and beautiful shots. The fight scene, the battle scenes were absolutely dope. They were super, super cool. Um, every character in the, pretty much every character in the film, you know, I mean, the, the King's son was just kind of like our comedic relief, I guess for Cam and I, but like outside of him, like a lot of the other characters, I love the development of them. They're all unique. They're all super unique people. Um, and it was just, yeah, it's just, I mean, Mel Gibson, man, it's just a well done, super, super well done film. You know, I see why people revere this movie i told my stepdad that i hadn't seen braveheart and he was like you really haven't seen braveheart he's like how have you not seen like it's shocking to people that we haven't seen this movie um i'm trying to think there's one other thing i wanted to touch on um i thought the score was great uh also you know they really added to it and i just think yeah overall you know just the the storytelling was just done extremely well it kept you encapsulated it's a three-hour movie 
Um, but it doesn't feel like a three hour movie. You know, it like it was I was locked in the whole time. I was enjoying it the whole time. And I was sharing the same sentiment when he's about to get beheaded. I was like, please. I was hoping like the French came and like maybe maybe the princess like told her like dad about what's going on or whatever the case is. But at least we know that the princess is pregnant with his baby. And yes, yes, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll live on so. uh, through that. Yeah, those are some amazing points. You're right. The cinematography was absolutely beautiful. Something I'm curious about is kind of like the battles that took place and the mm -hmm. strategic planning that William Wallace had during those battles and how the battles went down with the nobles betraying him and stuff like that. I'm curious if they took liberations there or if they were relatively historically accurate because that's some specific things they had in the battles, like the flanking and the oil. Right. Like, was that just for, like, our fun to see or were the battles more like vague on what actually happened and maybe the nobles betrayed him not during a battle i don't know maybe mm -hmm. that all happened exactly how it did but i am curious probably more so like i feel like everything is pretty is probably pretty accurate and laid out correctly in terms of like like the outline of the events and the character yeah. itself but i feel like the battles there was just so much specificity and exactly how they went down it makes yeah. me think that like man they they either really stuck very accurate or they went completely liberal and take, took liberations on there um, cuz it, it wasn't and, far and like it, it, it wasn't far fetched stuff it wasn't like oh that would be impossible like it's just it was stuff but again i mean like we i made a point at one point in the film i was like you know it's guerrilla warfare versus like standard warfare it's almost like if you went to the revolutionary war and when they all used to line up with their muskets and they'd be like this line up and you shoot and then okay let's reload and then you had one dude coming in there like a sniper rifle like lurking in bushes it's unexpected you know these guys the king and everyone's expecting they're gonna send we'll send archers then we'll send cavalry and that's how battles kind of went like it was very like almost structured whereas wallace is like no we're nitty-gritty it don't like we're here to win it doesn't matter by any means necessary oil in the field fine flank you absolutely make you think that we don't have the people we have so um yeah i don't I, i'm i am curious it's a good point to make because they are very specific like weird tactics that he used so yeah they either got really creative they're like oh let's have him do this or he was just really creative in real life and that was shit they did it was accurate so yeah, yeah, you'll have to leave a comment down below and and really let us know because I am definitely interested. But from a filmmaking perspective, yeah, you're absolutely right. The the score was beautiful. A lot of beautiful elements. I mean, it. I don't imagine it's easy to make a historically relatively accurate drama and also be have the filmmaking incredibly well done. Like you put those two things together, and you've got a great great piece of work. And that's what I think mm -hmm. they did here. Uh, they were able to, the acting was incredible, not only from uh, Mel Gibson, but from pretty much everybody. I don't think there was anybody I saw where I was like, yeah, that acting could have been a little bit better. They were all like shockingly committed to the role. Bro, the like, kid, the kid version of him was insane. Yeah, he was, he was fantastic too. Immaculate. It's but great. even, even some of the other Scots, like just, the 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 look the emotion the the you could feel like this raw like yeah you could feel the vengeance you could feel the the desire for freedom you could feel the you know the emotion running through them and it you know it really takes you into the story and it makes you forget that this is all just a show like a you know a performance yeah post, but it, it it's like I wonder you know the history of some of the actors maybe they had relatives. I don't know. It happened in 13th century. So fucking, I don't know, but maybe they have some kind of historical pride in the situation. Maybe there are, there are Scottish uh, actors in here as well that were able to like channel home some Scotland pride or something, because mm -hmm. it's, it's, some of the acting in this was all the acting was great, but some was like, Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like this guy's yeah. actually dying right now. I feel like this guy's right. actually like feeling the, 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 the weight. So overall, beautiful performances beautiful filmmaking all the way around yeah any final thoughts before we get into the rating um practical effects were also fantastic um and then lastly uh because i just remembered 
I want to touch on real quick. Yeah, I agree with like, you know, when it comes to history and learning about history and everything, like reading about William Wallace would be cool, right? If it, like, say this is completely historic, this would be a very cool story to read. However, getting to see it is a totally different story. Same thing, you know, things that are like super traumatizing. I mean, for one, you know, things like related to the Holocaust. Like it's one thing to read about like, oh, these people were starving. They were, but you don't understand what they meant by these people were starving. And then you see like films that reenact it or you see pictures and you're like, oh, 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 well, like it's, it, it adds a level, it adds a layer to it that, you know, pulls you in. It makes you more interested in it. And it's like, wow, really eye opening. So um, those are the last two things I had to touch on. But I mean, yeah, once again, fantastic movie. Had a freaking blast watching it. All right. Well, with that being said, let's get into the rating. Just so you guys know, we go from zero to 10. We never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, we're saying that nothing could ever be worse than this movie. By giving out a 10, we're saying nothing could ever be, ever be better than this movie. Both those things are technically impossible to say. We've had some people say, well, you can give multiple movies a 10. Yeah, but then you're saying that th those multiple movies are the best and that there will never ever be anything better than uh, 10 is the highest. So for us, 10s and zeros are unobtainable numbers, but our scale mm -hmm. goes everywhere in between uh, 9.9999 and so on, if we so please. We do decimal points. Uh, I'll go first. Five is average, six is good, seven is great, eight is beyond that, nine is top tier cinema. I think I'm going to put this bad boy at like a nine point. I want to say like a 9.4. I felt very, 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 very pleased with this movie. Very, mm. very educated by this movie. And overall, I thought it was fantastic. Again, some nitpicks maybe could shave off like five or six minutes of the film. There were some parts personally. Um, I was not that interested in the dreams that Wallace was having. I thought they were nice. They added more to the emotional buildup and, and the character. But I knew when watching them that like there was like, um, they don't know what was going on in his mind like that. Like I'm sure well, yeah, said yeah. that he had prophetic dreams or anything <laughs> like that, or like, or, or not prophetic, but like dreams of his dead ones. Like, and maybe that is part of the history. I could be wrong. But when I was watching it, yeah. I felt like it was definitely more for drama's sake. It kind of took me out of it some moments, but I did think that they were nice touches um, um, to the overall character building of the of the situation. But to me, didn't necessarily need them. I thought the movie was still fantastic overall. Beautifully, beautifully done. Like I mentioned, all the praise that I gave it. So I'm going to stick it around at a 9.4. What about you, Zay? Yeah, I mean, I would say 9.25 to 9.4. I like to give a little bit of a range I because I fluctuate, obviously, as time goes on. I want to touch on, I agree. I think the only dream I actually kind of was like, oh, this is like, this was utilized really well, was the one where he sees he sees Murren and he's like, yeah. he's like, I want to stay here. And she's like, you can't. Like, you yeah. have to wake up. I because like it's that. that moment of like, look, I know you want to be me, but you have a job to do. Like you're like you're pushing for something. And like, so that was really cool. I liked how they utilized that one. The other ones, I was like, okay, like it, sure. okay. So I could see them being able to shave a little bit of time off. I mean, once again, uh, kudos to the acting, the writing, like I mean, the score, the direct like there was like everything all around this movie is absolutely just the top tier cinema. Was oh, yeah. The pacing, like even with those small areas where they could have chopped something off it didn't feel like the pacing was like choppy or weird or too slow it was like a really just clean pacing like ah like okay here we are now we flow to this um i try to think i mean and i think they pretty much utilized all the characters pretty well there wasn't really ones i felt like didn't get maybe in like the only one I would want to see more is that crazy dude from Ireland like because he was hilarious. yeah yeah I wanted you know to see more him for sure but other than that, I think that they did a good job of honestly, like, hey, this is what's going on with the king and the son. Okay, next. Like, now let's get back to the main meat and potatoes. Hey, here's what's going on with the nobles. And then, like, focus on the nobles that are playing a bigger part. They were, they were He did very well just with being like, all right, we don't need all the screen time with this guy because that's not what you're here for. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable seeing it with like uh, between like a 9.25, 9.4. Um Again, top tier cinema for sure. It's just uh, absolutely beautiful movie. Yeah, super epic film. 
with that being said, thank you guys again for being here. Thank you for the support. Zay, I know you have a Twitch. I don't have a Twitch. Please. <laughs> yes, I do have a Twitch. I take it back. I take it back. Yes, I do have a Twitch, guys. I'll be linked down in the description below. I actually, well, by the time you guys are seeing this, I had some more people come from the YouTube channel on my last stream. I love to see you guys. I love to get to chit chat. You know, a lot of people kind of forget that I have one. Um, I am, I have trying to get a pretty consistent schedule going. So should be easier to find me. And um, if you're looking for nights where I'm playing games with Cam and maybe some of my friends, those are going to be on like Friday nights, Saturday nights. So keep your eye out for those again link will be down in the uh, description feel free to drop a follow got amazon prime feel free to use that prime sub it's a free subscription to you boy and i love all the support but uh but yeah guys always a good time um and yeah yeah check it out guys it's super fun it's always a blast to see you there we are seeing more and more of you there and it's really cool to just chat with you and stuff like that with that being said guys listen okay if you see three or four men with blue faces coming at you you might want to think twice about the position you're in because you might be um trying to crush scott's freedom and they don't <laughs> like that so we'll see you guys on the next one and peace freedom <laughs>